this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called If It's the Beaches by the Avid Brothers. And we end up capable this on fifth fret to kind of match the recording walkthrough. A couple things in reposition. And we start off some really cool licks around the C major chord for our intro. And normally you do this first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second fret, and third finger on the A string third fret. And if you show them the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now, around C's in general, it can be kind of cool to lift the first finger, make that a C major 7, or you could add in the pinky on the B string 3rd for a C major 9 and kind of say some stuff around that chord. Or another way to play a C major 9 is doing first finger on the D 2nd, 2nd finger on the A 3rd, 3rd finger on the B 3rd, pinky on the high E 3rd, kind of dig on that. And then from the C, actually, we'll be going to an A minor chord. And normally, you do this first finger on the B 1st fret, 2nd finger on the D 2nd, 3rd finger on the G 2nd. You strum all those together. Oh, this sad sounds big minor. Now you may also dig on lifting off the first finger and making that A sus two, or adding in the pinky on the B third for a suspended chord and kind of saying some stuff around the A minor. Or you may dig on lifting off the third finger, A minor seven, or adding in the pinky on the high E third, kind of for an A minor seven. Or you may dig on an A seven sus by doing first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, kind of working that for that. And maybe some of the changes a little bit easier from the A minor to an F. Normally, I'm talking about some really easy options here too. But normally, you do this as a first fret bar, second finger on the G second, third finger on the A third, pinky on the D third. If you strum all those together, ah, oh, the happy sounds. Man. Now you may also dig on F major seven, where you can do first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the G second, third finger on the D third. And if you strum the D string to the high E string. It sounds an F major 7 and it sounds really groovy happy. Um, or you may dig on an F major 13 by doing first finger on the G second, second finger on the D third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, kind of working that for the F. And then from the F we'll be going back to our C major chord. Right, we're doing these cool little looks around the chord though. On the C major you may want to kind of start off kind of A string, D string, A string, and then go to the D string and kind of do a hammer on from 2nd fret to 3rd fret. And it almost kind of turns this into something called a, a C suspended chord. Like you took the C major and took your pinky and kind of added it in on the, the D string 3rd fret. On the middle 4 strings, that would be considered a C suspended chord. And it also kind of implies an F because it's an F note. Um, but you may want to kind of play the, the C chord, D string chord, A string chord and then kind of think about that two three hammer on so kind of mix it up with, with kind of doing chord after it so kind of three two three two three and then we almost kind of do that same idea three on the a two on the d three on the a but then open b and then we go back to the a or we go to the a minor chord and kind of do the a d string a string and then the open b F chord, kind of do the D string, G string, D string, and then you'll hear this cool little lip where you can play the open B, and then first fret on the B, and then open G. So three, two, three, oh, oh, one, oh. And then we end up on kind of a C vamp, kind of doing our three, two, three, and then that D string third. So it's all about kind of like lick chord, lick chord, lick chord, or note chord, note chord kind of an idea. So all the way through that intro, that way you get kind of that C, two, three, C, open B, A minor, two, oh, open B, and three, two, three, oh, one, oh, and then kind of back to that C, kind of working that third foot on the D. So we want to kind of experiment with those notes, kind of working them around the chord, or if you're just starting out and you're like, man, those looks are crazy, um, yeah, you, you, could, you could work a couple different strumming options. And you could even do kind of, kind of a down count on each one, kind of C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. kind of an eight down count on each one. That seems really, really fast. You may want to just try just a four down count. C, two, three, da, da, A minor, F. Or one of my favorite.
Spirit Storm patterns for a 4 4 light. This is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the C and just tried that a lot. Yeah, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So this is kind of weird because there's two ways you can kind of apply this. You, you could kind of think of it as a really slow down count. two idea on it, kind of C. Da, 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 da. So it might depend on how you're feeling. Da, 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 or how quick you are at that pattern. Now you'll definitely hear some other places in the tune where it's kind of more of a down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, especially on the bridge. spots of the tune, I almost feel like a 16th note strum pattern. And, and what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one, two. That's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the C and do it down for four, one, two, three, four, one, two, That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. And on the second beat, you do a down on one, down on three, up on four. So kind of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on the third beat, you do up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you go down, up, down, and right along with the one, two, three, four. Down, down. things more as like a 16th. into our verse and on the verse is actually we, we got kind of that same chord same chords but we're kind of halving some things so so you kind of have that C and then kind of a minor for four F for four idea you may want to do just the down down up on the chords to kind of half it or you can split the down down up up down up and have a minor with a down down up f up down if you kind of dig on that so you have the c with the down, down, up, up, down, instead of halfing, you can kind of do times two on the regular chords and times one on the other chords. So you got C, A minor, C, A minor, C, A minor, idea for the halfing chords, you can do the down, 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 kind of half the, the 16th pattern if you're digging on that, or you could split that pattern and do A minor with the down, 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 up, and then go to the F for the up, down, down, up, down, up. on that.
repeating those parts in variation until we get to our bridge part, outro part, um, where we start on the A minor, and then we go to a G major. We normally do this first finger on the A second, second finger on the low E third, third finger on the high E third. And if we strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord that sounds really happy. And you may also dig on the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, really powerful G major. And then from that G, then we'd be going to our F major chord. Kind of hear a change to an F minor chord. And if you're doing the bar F, actually what, what you want to do is lift the second finger. Always a fun finger to lift, people. Um, and if you strum all those together, that's an F minor chord. Sounds really sad. Um, now you may also dig on lifting the pinky. You're an F minor seven. We're adding in the pinky on the B fourth fret for an F minor seven. Or if you're just starting out and you want to kind of get that sound, if you can do the bar over the top three strings, the E and the B and the G, something called D half diminished if you kind of do the, the D string to the high E string, and that's a good substitute for that, that F minor. And on that part, it really kind of feels more like the eighth note feel. It's more like a kind of a quick down, down, up, up, down, up, but you may want to do the down, 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 up, down, up. Kind of an A minor. second on the D, back to third on the D, and then kind of slide at the fifth fret on the D, fourth fret on the G. It's a cool little three, two, three, slide to five, four, three, two, three, slide to five, four. We do that three times and we kind of hit a big C chord. Very, very end. Now the weird part is, to play along with the Avery Brothers, instead of starting on a C chord, they're starting on an F major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 5th fret, then now your C is really an F major, your A minor is really a D minor, your F is really a B flat major, and your G major is really a C major, and the F minor is really a B flat minor. But to take it from the very beginning, you may want to work kind of those intro licks we were talking about around the chords, kind of that three, two, Or you could use any of those strumming options we were talking about. You could kind of do that, that quick eight C or the slow four minor F C. Or if you're digging on the down, down, up, up, down, you could do it as the slow down, down, up, up, down, you know, C. From there we go into our first verse. So you could do that with the slow down, down, up, up, down, up, kind of that C. Down, down, up, up, down, up. little 
intro return. So you kind of hear a little piece of that intro we were talking about. Kind of coming back. So you may want to go back to those licks. Might be kind of cool. Or something else that I like to add to a song like this too, and we're already kind of doing it with those licks, is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, or the down, 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 up, down, up, or the down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. On a bass for the chords. On the C, you'd have the A for the bass. On the A minor, you'd have the A for the bass. On the F major, you'd have Louis for the bass. If you're doing the bar, D string if you're kind of doing with the F major seven. And then the D string for the D half diminished. Uh, G would have the Louis string for the bass. And on the F minor bar, you'd have Louis for the bass. So we tried that intro with kind of a bass down up, up, down up. You have the C. That pattern you can make it a quick pace down down up up down up kind of C, 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 A minor. oh wait <laughs> you can make it that quick pace down down up up down up C, C, down. Try that with that slow pace down, down, up, up, down. You could kind of add basses to that. And have the C, A minor with an A bass, F with a bass, down, up, C, A minor, F, C, F, C, F, C, F, C, F, F, and then our C. Or if you're digging on the fast pace, down, down, up, up, down, up. similar to our verse. So we kind of kept that going. And actually that could be kind of cool even just using those licks through the, the chorus form actually. Like we kind of have an, a C lick and an A minor lick and an F lick. So you got kind of that C. Kind of 
lead us into our bridge part. And on our bridge, you could do it with kind of that, that slow pace down, down, up, up, down, up, kind of in minor. of how you can strum through if it's the beaches by the Avid Brothers. So good luck.